Greetings and salutations. It's been a while since my last video. I did want to do these weekly, but November was a slow month. Only the seven pickups, so weekly didn't really work. So I'm back to monthlies at the moment. Yeah, yeah. So like I said though, seven pickups, two Blu-rays, the rest of them, five of them, four Ks. So let's take a look and welcome to Popcorn. Okay then, well pick up number one is a, a classic, I've never seen it, it's a blind buy, um, but it's been on my list for a long time to pick up, I've given up waiting for the 4k, but, but no doubt now that I've bought it in blue it will come in 4k, uh, but it is Cleopatra, yeah, Cleopatra, Liz Taylor, over four hours, this is, so this is going to be a good viewing, plenty of snacks and drinks uh, to go this one. But yeah, like I said, it's been on my list on my list for quite a while. Glad I picked it up. Uh, this is the region one, but I think it's region three anyway, so that's not going to be a problem. But yeah, Cleopatra, Liz Taylor. Looking forward to this one. Next pickup nearly completes my Christopher Nolan collection. I won one movie shot, Insomnia, which I will pick up. But this is. A following nice reflection there it comes in a, a box set so you get the movie itself on blu-ray you got a little booklet inside there nice little box 16.99 hmv hmv uh yeah glad, glad to have it in the collection that's it it'll complete it'll go towards completing my christopher nolan um collection i uh, don't really know much about this one though i'm pretty sure it's a short film it's not very really very long, I don't believe. I could be mistaken, but yeah, I believe it's a, a short film in there. Um, but yeah, following Christopher Nolan. Don't know how, how many times I want to say a following and Christopher Nolan within one minute. The next pickup is a 4K, no slip cover. And again, it is a classic. And if you haven't seen it, so it's just a cat. There we go. If you haven't seen it, what are you playing at? It is, I say, it is a classic, and it's Wizard of Oz in 4K. And no slip, which, like I said, I'm disappointed at. And I've got a video coming up, and this is the reason why I picked this one up to tell the truth because it wasn't obviously I haven't got it in my collection. I haven't double dipped and had a, you know, a DVD or a Blu-ray. But I've got a video coming up about the Wizard of Oz, so I want to rewatch it. What better format than 4K? Moving swiftly on, Harrison Ford, Tommy Lee Jones, again, you probably guessed it by now, needs no introduction, and it is the Fugitive. Nice slip on this one, it's glossy, it's not embossed, they kept it, Warner Brothers 100 year anniversary or celebration logo on there, the same artwork underneath, on the back, the tunnel scene, that's about it. So you do get the 4K, you do get the Blu-ray, so which is not too bad. But again, they need to cut down these, you know, ratings all over the place. They could cut down a bit. Uh, but yeah, it's a good, good film this one. If they, if they do the second one, you know, US Marshals, I probably will pick it up as well. But yeah, Harrison Ford, Tommy Jones, The Fugitive. Okay, next one again, 4K, no slip. And uh, David Harbour, Orlando Bloom, and Archie Mawiki, Madwiki, I'm probably butchering that name, do apologise. Based on a true story, Gran Turismo. Heard mixed reviews about this one, but you know, I have a, a PS5, I do play Gran Turismo, I do love my movies, so. I probably am, you know, in that, you know, in that demographic we're looking for on that one. So yeah, it, it gives us one a watch. Um, it is based on a true story. I do know 
parts of the tube starter as well so it'd be good to see where the where it blurs if you like but yeah Gran Turismo um, it's a bit for the Forza movie then eh okay second from last pickup now and it is got a nice slipcar on this one and it's what the second from last in the DC world DCEU it's Blue Beetle I think this one's the second from last movie in that but it's going to be part of the new one as well I don't know it's all confusing uh, but Blue Beetle yeah the trailer looked fun the cover looks decent no nice nice use of colours there in, in the cover slip cover a bit, a bit glossy no embossing on the back you get I guess that's Blue Beetle I guess that's him getting his powers who knows um, same artwork underneath and again it's only the 4k no blu-ray no digital in the UK release uh, nice pickup again a bit of popcorn nice drink in hand nice chocolate turn off watch this and the last pickup for November and I know you're all wondering where Oppenheimer is it's not here it's not here unfortunately no, this is uh, Tom Cruise and Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. Long title on that one. Mission Impossible films. Let's take a look. So this is what, number 7? Number 7? First one's a great film. Second one, did he kill the franchise for me? John Woo, what were you playing at there? It's far too over the top. Uh, J.J. Abrams did well at bringing it back. Mission Impossible 3. Um... And then from there, they just continued to go higher and higher and higher. Of course, Protocol uh, and last year's, or last, last, last one, the Fallout. Great movie. So these are great action flicks. Are they what James Bond wants to be in the modern era? Possibly. But anyway, nice slip cover. Plenty of other well, faces, which seems to be all the rage now in, in um, covers. Uh, same artwork underneath. On the back, you get Tom and his bike jumping off his bike when that's well publicized. Scene it is, but unfortunately, again in the UK, it's just the 4K, no Blu ray, no digital. Uh, it's always nice to have, but yeah, Mission Impossible Dead Reckon Part 1. Haven't seen it, is a blind buy, no doubt I will enjoy it. And roll on part two. So there you have it, that's my pickups for November. Seven pickups in total. Like I say, bit, bit of slow month. Or slow month for, for me, maybe for not most people. Who knows? Anyway, let me know in the comments. No, good good picks, poor picks. Anything I should have picked up, apart from Oppenheimer, which I'm hoping is on its way. Santa Claus is coming, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments and of course hit that like button, hit that subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Do take care.